Some actors stay at the top of their game for a long time and cement their legacies while some reach their peaks and fade out. That's the Hollywood circle of life. In this list, we look at five actresses that reached their potential peaks in the 90s but eventually fizzled out, or at least haven't achieved the same level of fame since then. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be a part of our notification squad. Brandy Norwood Most prominent for her leading role in the sitcom Moesha, Brandy Norwood reached the pinnacle of both her acting and singing career in 1998. The year marked her debut in the big screen in Danny Cannon's slasher I Know What You Did Last Summer, while her second studio album Never Say Never sold 16 million copies worldwide. She briefly appeared as a judge in America's Got Talent in 2006 and was one of the contestants in ABC's Dancing with the Stars in 2010. Her acting career, on the other hand, witnessed a setback. Brandy recently announced that her seventh studio album is in the works. In 2018, news about her pregnancy made headlines but was called off by her singer brother Ray J. Thora Birch We know Thora Birch, late 90s own Golden Girl, for her critically acclaimed roles in Ghost World and American Beauty, but she never reached star status like many expected. She appeared in a few movies following her big break but took a brief sabbatical from acting in 2012. After a three-year hiatus, she made a comeback in Carlton Cuse's sci-fi TV series Colony, in which she played the role of a software engineer. Birch appeared in two episodes of the show's first season. She is set to star in four back-to-back -back indie films in 2018, most notably in Above Suspicion, which also features Jack Houston and Amelia Clark. Elizabeth Berkley Elizabeth Berkley is best known for her role as Jessie Spano in the cult TV sitcom Saved by the Bell. She was also one of the erotic dancers in Paul Verhoeven's controversial film Showgirls. Her stint as a smart and lovable teenage girl in Saved by the Bell would have landed the actress many promising roles in the future, but her role in Showgirls crushed every possibility of that happening. Her racy role in the racy movie shut down all doors for her, and she even got dropped off by her agent. Elizabeth made brief appearances in shows like CSI Miami, but she could never land another blockbuster role. In 2013, she resumed her dancing skills as one of the participants in Dancing with the Stars. Her last TV appearance was in an episode of Fox's New Girl. Yasmin Bleeth Yasmin Bleeth caught the eyes and attention of viewers following her steamy role in Baywatch. Following her popularity, she was listed at number 10 in People magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in 1995. The good-looking blonde had many movie offers lined after her, but her cocaine addiction completely derailed her career. She joined a rehab to recover from the addiction, which kept her acting career on the sidelines. She currently lives in Arizona with her husband, Paul Cerrito, whom she met during rehab. Unfortunately, she has called it quits regarding her return to the big screen. Feruza Bok Feruza Bok turned heads through her bewitching role in 1996's cult classic The Craft. She also played a similar gothic role in the crime drama classic American History X. However, her list of movie roles has distinctively descended over the past decade. She claimed it is because she is very selective about her roles. Talking about her acting stints in recent years, Bok has had a recurring role in the crime series Ray Donovan. She also starred in Battle Scars and Sam Hancock's August Falls in 2015 and 2017 respectively. Currently, she is set to star in an upcoming thriller flick, Hell is Where the Home Is. Bach has also released three singles under the artist's name, Armed Love Militia. That's all for today. Please leave a comment and let us know your favorite actress from the list. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as well.